So, hello, welcome to uh, episode nine of our Over the Limit podcast. Uh, today we have uh, Kevin Estre in the show, um, a good friend, team colleague for a long time. Um, won Career Cup France, Career Cup Germany, 24 hours of Spa, 24 hours of Le Mans, 24 hours of Nürburgring, World Endurance Championship. Um, had the privilege to be my teammate for a couple of times. <laughs> privilege, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe once or twice now. But, um, so yeah, welcome. Um, Thank you. We were actually testing in Spa yesterday and today. Um, we found a small window to finally do the podcast together. And I think it um, should be an interesting, uh, an interesting one with some insight of Kevin's career. Um, some funny behind the scenes stories and as always some stupid questions of trees yeah <laughs> they have to be part of it <laughs> you have a bad reputation huh? yeah he always makes it bad but at the end the people know the real stuff that's the most important okay <laughs> so i'll start off um where did your motorsport passion came from Oh, the family. Uh, my uh, my father and my grandparents, or my grandfather, started go karts. I don't know in the late seventies or beginning of eighties, and they uh, just for fun. And then my father started or tried to do a career. Uh, he didn't make it, but uh, but um, he had a team, and so I always grew up around cars and go kart. And then I got a go kart when I was four years old, um, and that's why I started. So pretty much. Uh, racing family and then yeah my grandpa my uncle my father they are yeah. all still um, in the racing or my grandpa a little less now but uh, they are all still in the in the motorsport so um yeah there was no other real not choice i, I no, liked yeah. it but it that's that's the way it was uh, racing was all around me let's say you grew up with really like your father yeah. still has a race team, huh? No yeah, way. he still has a race team. He had a he had a race team in go kart and single seater for a very long time, mm -hmm. and uh, and it went a bit with me. Like when I was doing uh, when I was doing go kart, obviously he w he had to spend. I, I drove in his team, so he had to spend a lot of time in go kart. So the the race cars or the single seater team was more on the side, and he was just doing a few days uh, per year testing. And uh, when I moved to uh, to single seater, obviously he went a bit more to single seaters, and also with the with the people I raced against or with, uh, uh, he knew more people in go kart than he knew more people in in uh, single seater. And now he stopped, I think, maybe ten years ago the go kart, and he's only in the single seater, um, doing smaller championships and and then uh, coaching young drivers or amateur drivers um, in in the single seater in France. But you started go karting with your father in the beginning, eh? in yeah. his team. Yeah, yeah, in the team, and my uncle was doing the engine. Which is, my mm -hmm. uncle has a was the um, how do you call? It? He imports. A, uh, he was the importateur. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Importer. importer, importer uh, from Tony Kart uh, in France for a long time. Then he changed whatever. So he always had his team and and building engines. And my father had just had a race team, so I drove with my father's team, let's say, and. Uh, and uh, and the engine from my uncle, and then when I went up the categories in go kart, then I I became factory driver for Saudi. So then I was I was alone just with the factory team, and and my father kept uh, one or two customers with his yeah. team. I actually listened to um, it's uh, you recommended to me, and I recommended to everybody who speak French La, La Boite à It's a podcast in uh, in France, which uh, I listened to yours and Andre. Episode and it was. I mean, I was. It was very interesting to hear. I think it's if I understood it correctly. One year, your father had a, a big client in karting, and which was bringing a lot of money. And then, but he didn't allow you to drive on the yeah. client or something like that. Yeah, it was. Uh, my father <laughs> yeah. had uh, at that time. He, uh, I think, the team was quite low, and my father was kind of a consultant for this guy. Mm -hmm. or he was running the whole team, but it was not nothing from his material. The guy like it is in go kart or like it was in the past the guy had all the, the equipment and everything he had employees as mechanics like this was 2000 around 2000 uh, year and and at that stage he was on another level compared to the others in terms of budget and people whatever my father was like the the man running the team and and the guy said the the father um said basically at that stage i was i was quite good and his son had less talent that's for sure but he was driving a lot mm -hmm. really a lot 
and uh, and he was scared let's say of me having the same material than him and beating him so he told my father look next year uh, we fight for the french championship uh, in minim so we were 10 and 11 uh, if you want to work for me then your son should not race any race my father my my son is doing um and my father at that stage had not so much uh, customer and it was his main customer so he yeah he decided yeah, to no take choice. it exactly mm. not really a choice so i didn't do the french championship that year and this guy won uh, and uh, and actually that was the first race this year so i was i think was 90 you never 99. mentioned who it was no yeah true <laughs> uh, that that's that's the first time i got paid to do a race it was crazy okay. because he was doing two championships and um and there was a, a race in valence you have probably been there in in mm -hmm. Gokart. And uh, the end of the championship was a clash with the French one. So he went to the French championship and, uh, and he sent me there to this championship in Valence in France to, uh, if I would win, then he would win the championship okay. both. And uh, so he paid the race and, uh, and then he gave me a prize money, oh, yeah? which my father kept, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, well, whatever. That's probably the only positive which I have from this, from this season. But. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. Yes, uh, motorsport sometimes is, is tough. Well, it's Sorry. crazy how you guys were competitive at go-karts, huh? Yeah, you were. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dries won the Belgium Championship. There were three guys. <laughs> <laughs> was not the golden era. No, uh, well, no, I was... Yeah, I mean, because all I, the money was going to him, no? Yeah, that's for why, sure. I mean, I'm also sure. my, my whole racing <laughs> thing went, went the wrong way. But um, no, I was also quite bad at cards. I mean, I could be fast, but I would always be quick in FP1, FP2. And then before qualifying, I would be like... Mental. I mean, your story was, it was like that until, what, 2015. Mm. That yeah. you could, you, I mean, my father and me and people who really knew you, knew you had a lot of talent, but you were unable to show it. <laughs> until one weekend out of nowhere... Uh, <laughs> I was there actually you that weekend. I and then started winning, and in since Budapest. then, yeah. I was there in the weekend. You, were, yeah. I was, I was, I had one shot. Uh, I was driving a Porsche with a Tempo, uh, which was really we had a bad <laughs> car, and it was really hot, and the Porsche was bad in the <laughs> hot conditions. But uh, yeah, we were really far away. I remember that race where, yeah, that um, weekend where you, you show your talent to the world. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I I recognized or I. I noticed you was in Marienbu when you won the European yeah. Championship with Solika. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. good. It was the for Thank sure a big big achievement when you're yeah. when you're racing. I won the French Championship before, but the European is something really really strong. I remember that when the when the guy on the podium is a Belgium. Um, what's his name? Uh, Thomas Bastin yeah. was ah, the yeah. commentator, which is now commentating many yeah. of our races. And at that stage, he was. He, I think he was go kart uh, commentator, and mm -hmm. he, he announced the people which won this championship before mm -hmm. me, and one was Schumacher. So I'm, I'm not a Schumacher fan, but before you go on the podium and you win, you won the championship, which uh, which Schumacher won, is is something yeah. pretty cool something too. Cool. Gives you some confidence. Yeah. <laughs> it dropped in the next year. <laughs> <laughs> so the years after, um, I mean, we don't need to go through every year in detail, but you. I think you did some single seaters for one or two, two years, years. Yeah. yeah, and then you did a um, a career in, in Carrera Cup mm -hmm. um, in France and, and Germany and so on. Um, but for me, it was interesting. I, I mean, I knew what you did, but I I learned all the details actually in this this episode of What I Go. Um, but it seemed like you were, I mean, you were always successful and 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 good and winning. But it seemed to be a hard step to to get the professional to yeah. get to and to be paid or to get to the professional status. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is the case from pretty much everyone. Yeah. You need you need to to have a chance at one point to show what you can and that a factory or, or a big teams takes you. Um, and and sometimes it happens in one year, and sometimes mm. it takes you um, five. Or uh, for me, it took really a long time. Especially you try. The French Championship in Carrera Cup, for example, has always been very strong, mm. uh, very high level. But you, if you don't go out of France, you, you know, you maybe yeah. you have yeah. two <coughs> French drivers which are getting paid in in France. That's yeah. it, and and not much. Uh, so you want to go in in Carrera Cup Germany in Super Cup um, or in GT, let's say in the GT World Challenge or whatever. And uh, 
so I tried to go out of France is, is tough and, and you need to bring budget, of course, to start with. And I had sponsors, but not, uh, not enough. So it was always tough to, to, to get the right team, the right car and, and, and win. And uh, yeah, it took me, took me uh, four years to win the French championship. Uh, the year I won, I was already in, in Super Cup. Mm -hmm. um, so for sure, it helped me a lot there. I, I, I won pretty much all the races. Uh, the level was not as good as a few years before, but um, and also driving more is uh, helps you a lot in these cars, especially especially the cup, so the the cup, cup cars. Is, I think yeah, back then they were yeah nine nine seven. You know, uh, is like a sequential gearbox. You had to do the heel and toe uh, yeah. braking uh, on the gearbox, movement a lot of movement. Um, but it was fun when. So the best schools, I think. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were. I mean, if you were quick in that one, you jump in a GT3. The first yeah. time I jumped in a GT3 R, I, I remember I, I was straight away faster than pretty much all the guys which were there mm -hmm. since a long time because it's it was a an easy car to drive compared to the the cup car. But yeah, it took took some time and then some luck. You know, you sure. it's always the same. You have to be at the right time at the right moment. Yeah. Somebody calling you or seeing you at that race, ah, maybe I take you for another one and yeah. It's crazy, and yeah, if you think, I mean, I think both of us were were lucky to be in an environment like with Vincent, yeah. to be fair, and Jaji Mavoa, who helped us to get to that status quicker Quickly, because they had yeah. the contacts and everything. But it's a bit like Tom Bourne said in one of the episodes that it's in motorsport. I mean, somebody like with the talent of Kevin um, takes so much time uh, or takes such a long time, and, and, and maybe at some point even... Uh, difficult to 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 believe in it to yeah, for sure. to become professional mm. um, okay. uh, we all know that motorsport is expensive mm. and and that you need some money behind you and and uh, and also people trusting you giving yeah. you the chance I, I was doing Carrera Cup France and I was writing every winter a few teams in mm. Super Cup and Carrera Cup Germany because I knew if I don't move that, that in that direction I will not really get a get a professional drive and Half of them would not answer, or if they would answer, they would give you a, an offer for four hundred thousand euro. Yeah. You know, which I, I could not, I no. could not, could not get. Um, so just one answered attempto, and then I I started there basically, and, and uh, with a very little budget. That's ah, another. You did, uh, you, you, you did with attempto. Yeah, yeah I won the. I, I started Super Cup there and Caracup. I won Caracup Germany with him. Ah, okay. Yeah. He's a. Uh, you know, you don't guy. know him, huh? You need to do a podcast with him. Yeah. You will have fun. <laughs> I don't. I don't really know him, but I feel like when he sees me, <laughs> he's like, "Hey, Lawrence, how are you?" He's like, well, <laughs> but he says everyone. It's like everyone to this. He's he's a very Character. very nice guy. He's Character. a. Yeah, he, sure. he's well, you have to ha have him on on your side. That's for sure. Yeah. If you have him against you, you're in a bad position. Yeah. He was. I remember. In, uh, <clears throat> in, Is he still um, doing Audi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, I spoke with him last time, and he like, "Wow, oh, Sama, I've been um, He's not happy or whatever, but um, I was I did uh, the golf of hours in always in November this mm -hmm. like, what is it Creventic race or yeah. I don't know, and we won and it was the first time I met Valentino Rossi. Uh, he was second and he just went to the guy you know Valentino Rossi the guy who he is, and uh, Akin went to him said, Vali next time if you want to win just call me yeah you know <laughs> I just make sure you win you drive an Audi <laughs> just to this guy you know. <laughs> He's just a character. It's crazy. It's actually another very interesting story about like about your career. I found when you went to Attempto, um, which I I knew kind of, but I learned the details. And again, the the podcast with your your wife uh, supporting you and and because the deal fell through or. Yeah. or no, I, well, we, we went there and uh, obviously it was a German team. I was not speaking German at, at all at that stage. And uh, we were, I think, one year together with my wife at that, that mm -hmm. moment, uh, speaking English together because she's German. And, uh, and she made the contact basically. And then I tested, I did a good, good test. And then he gave me an offer uh, and I had one third of the budget. Uh, and we, we went there and from one third of the budget, it went to half of it because one sponsor just... Yeah disappear <laughs> you know so i Weird. and I, I was just going to we were i remember i flew to hanover she picked me up and we were going to the the team to sign the contract and uh, and i had no money i had i had 50000 euro and and i was 
I had I should have brought 100 just to do two or three races and and whatever and see after and I had 50 <laughs> and I, we were like how do you do how how can we do whatever and and we we made the contract with him we were honest uh, and he said give me everything you have and and then we see and then uh, up before the second race uh, there was still some money missing and everything and and uh, and Carl actually made a made a, a credit you know to uh, to on her name, you know, to help me, which was, I, I told really her not to do, uh, but, uh, but uh, she did. So we, I paid after, I paid back <laughs> 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 before we got married. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's great, crazy story and, and the, the performance and the results were good. So mm -hmm. he kept me in basically without bringing money. And, and that's where 2011, that's where, that's I, where it started, I started okay. not, yeah. not to earn money, but at least to drive for free. And then the next year I started to get uh, a bit of money. And that's why um, you just need luck. And, and also, yeah, sometimes uh, people helping you or you mm -hmm. have a lot of people helping you, but your wife uh, yeah, that's very uh, doing nice. a that's credit a cool is, is quite, uh, quite crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I mean, Somebody, if, if your own wife, well, now your wife, back then your girlfriend. You can ask Victoria to... Yeah, maybe if she wants <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but that's cool. Oh, but I didn't know that uh, Akim was, well, I mean, next time I'm seeing him, I see him, yeah. I'm going to say, you know... Ah. He can tell you some stories, I'm sure. <laughs> um, well, you had already, you have quite some achievements uh, in your career, but what would you pick as your biggest one so far? Ah, it's it's for sure Le Mans. You see the car here, yeah, uh, <laughs> with Lawrence, of course. <laughs> That's why. <Yeah. laughs> no, but Le Mans. When when you start to uh, when you start endurance racing, uh, that's the only <clears throat> race really you you want to win. And for me, as a French guy, I started endurance racing. To be honest, I I didn't know about Nurburgring. Like as a French, uh, I, I'm in a family from racing, but it's more single seater and stuff. Yeah. I didn't even know Nurburgring until I I started to to drive there or, or being more with German people. Uh, but Le Mans was always the race I, I, I wanted to win from, from the start, and especially driving for Porsche. Um, yeah, it was a crazy year, 70 years of, of Porsche, special livery. Um, we all had special helmet, race suit, the, the pit box, everything was, was amazing. It was a cool uh, year to do it, huh? It was uh, it was really the year to win, and yeah. uh, and we had to we had to choose the design or the yeah. Porsche proposed us the oh, yeah? it was either the Rotmans or or this, and we were all the six drivers sitting in a room in this fitness camp, and they show both and I would, and I, I I looked at the Lawrence and Michael I'm like what the pig is the Rotmans is nicer and they were all no no we go pig, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, you we were worried pink. about the suit. So. Yeah, like the suit. <laughs> yeah, because the suit at first was pink. I think yeah, the sh what yeah. they show us was completely pink, and I was like, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit too yeah, pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. We chose this, which uh, in the end I don't regret for sure. It was a, uh, yeah, it's uh, iconic, and and um, yeah, it's uh, for sure the the best achievement. Um, it's crazy the amount of um, stuff we saw afterwards yeah. from like everything. Mm. Uh, everything you can imagine, even socks were made yeah, in, in the pink pig. How much stuff we got, you know, yeah. some fans doing some art things or poster. Do you want? I made a special. I I don't know. I have a box at home from you know a mm. cup and whatever. How much stuff from from this pink pig is? Uh, and then going crazy. to for me, which was the sherry on the cake, or like then going to Goodwood with yeah. the car and and I think I, and I hope like the car was in the museum, but I think it will be something. Which they special will look back still, at in yeah. twenty years, and as as, a, as special as it is, yeah. no, it's cool. It was I followed the I followed quite a lot of race. It was twenty? No, it was just the year after 18. I I twenty eighteen, yeah. yeah. and I just won, won in twenty seventeen. Yeah. Right, GT Yam. You were the Yam. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought the budget. I brought the budget. Uh, well, the pro Yam, yeah. So <laughs> you were the pro in the in the Yam category. Yeah, it was fun. What's left to achieve in your career? What if you stop racing in whatever years? What do you want to have achieved, or um, before you stop? Ah, Le Mans, Le Mans overall for sure. Uh, when you when you race Le Mans and won in, in the category, which was which was crazy. A lot of we had really high competition at that stage, but still you don't win. I, I remember all my life. Cars, no? uh, 18 cars, no? 18 cars, factory, professional yeah. drivers everywhere, and. 
But I remember all my life, you know, we went to the podium, the LMP1 just went off with the Rolex yeah. and, uh, and, and Alonso, Alonso, <laughs> you know, saying, ah, congrats, uh, Pink Panther. Yeah, okay. Maybe <laughs> <it was a laughs> <pick>. <laughs> no, but like, you know, just uh, winning overall is, is something, yeah. uh, you know, in France or, or everywhere. Uh, the guy which win Le Mans overall has uh, has his name, you know, and picture on 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 the news um, on normal normal channel. Mm -hmm. When you win in your class, is is more still mm -hmm. motorsport world, um, and um, yeah, that's the best you can achieve in our sports. Um, so this is something, and and um, and Daytona is something I would I would also like because it's a, it's a tough race. It's a very nice one to to win, um, but. Yeah, Le Mans for sure. I would pick Le Mans overall uh, by far. I think it's everyone's. I mean, for of our three here, I think everybody would pick the same. Yeah, I think that's uh, the biggest thing you can achieve. If you can win this in overall, and I think yeah, hundred. I mean, for me, same. Yeah. Also, you have one. You both won, or we three won many others which are big as well, which we have done many times and Spa and Nurburgring. So, it's. Uh, uh, it's the one which is left, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't win Spa yet. I should race. But twice Nürburgring, so. <laughs> which we could have won twice. <laughs> yeah, this is actually my next question. Ah, great. Yeah, I see it. How is it to be Lawrence's teammate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just started the, the great topic, so. Um, it's not meant to be about everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think... <laughs> no, it's been it's been it's been good every time. I think we have we have the a very similar driving style. Probably you uh, accept a bit more oversteer than I do uh, because I'm maybe a, even more aggressive on on the steering. So I, I pro provoke or produce more oversteer. But otherwise, we are very very similar on 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 the driving style. Uh, kind of similar age, um, and and. Um, and I think the mindset of of uh, of the racing and what do we what do we want to um, what do we want to win the race and what do we want from the car from the team from the engineers is very similar. And I think it works well. We definitely have different uh, different um, hobbies. <laughs> hobbies for sure. <laughs> no, but but uh, yeah, we think different. But but I think it it just goes goes well. We can still. Uh, match each other and we don't we don't argue i don't think we ever argue but i mean have anything. you ever had have you ever met someone who thinks the same as lawrence <laughs> no, uh, i mean uh, but around <laughs> racing around racing ah, is, okay uh, racing okay outside <laughs> racing <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no maybe you can share the meditation at seven in the morning all the time just no, before we do it, oh, we do it hand in hand uh, i tried the acai balls already yeah. so you know <laughs> i make some steps oh in this direction yeah. uh, but that's it <laughs> <laughs> no i uh, for me, it's all fine yet, for sure. We had some, or oh, uh, there's some mistake from, from each side, you know, from uh, you had your mistake in Nürburgring, I had my mistakes in whatever other races. I, I crashed in qualifying. I, I did, I, everybody does mistakes. You have to accept it. But on the other hand, oh, we, yeah, true. You, because of you, I got, uh, well, thanks to you, I got, got because <laughs> otherwise I would have never made it. If I look at the first and second sector already alone, I would have been, the second off, I think. <laughs> but you finished the lap. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, no. It, In the I, end, we have a long history already together because yeah. we did our first Le Mans we did was together. Exactly. On a pink. It was the first two. time you, you, you guys drove together. Yeah. yeah. Pink LMP2 car with yeah. Oak Racing. Oh, only, okay, that one. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was a McLaren driver. You were Audi driver yeah. at that stage. We were racing against each other sometimes when mm. we were fast enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then we did Le Mans the first time together yeah. and then... Okay. We won Le Mans in, uh, in GT mm -hmm. together, um, so yeah. it would be a perfect yeah. story to win it together. Uh, For sure. <laughs> but me, me too, I'm, I mean, if from the group of drivers we had, I mean, I mean you know this, my my wish was to, to work with you and, 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 and Adam, our engineer, which is now perfectly the case, and because I think we... <laughs> For sure, we are different in, in certain ways, and everybody's different. But if I mean, I trust Kevin one hundred percent, and 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 what he says and does, and I think we have a very open, honest uh, relationship. relationship. Yeah, <laughs> if you call it like that. <laughs> we uh, see each other more than our wife, I think, this yeah. year. So, yeah, 
Ja, ja, call for same. show relation. <laughs> I think it's up to you, Lawrence. Is that me? You're not p- focusing. You're on your phone the whole time. You're getting yes, phone calls. Calling yeah, me no, thing. you're not prepared. Maybe we cannot keep up. Yeah, Jennifer. We Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Driver check. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> we cannot keep working in this environment. No, you're next, actually. But it doesn't matter. We can do it. Uh, ah, no. Um, well, no, it's my question to ask. Um, do you still want to do Nürburgring with Lawrence? <laughs> We don't this year. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I won when he was not there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we I'm punished this we, year. We nearly won. Uh, or we nearly won. We had the pace to win many times when we were together, but uh, <laughs> it didn't go that way. Uh, I mean, yeah. the, the, uh, we all we all do mistakes, you know. I, I and and um, I'm definitely not the one uh, pointing fingers because I did I did a lot um, in my career by pushing too much or taking too much risk. So for sure, I'm not the guy. Yeah, pointing fingers or, or being being angry, or for sure you are disappointed and you are sad, and and um, for for yourself, for the team, for everyone. And uh, but I think what's important is really learn from your mistake. It's something you it, it's like normal to say, but it, it's important. I think you guys learned. Uh, I hope. Let's see. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, but it, but it hurts for sure because when you when you drive Nurburgring, you know that you don't have the car to win every year. Uh, with the Grello, we are lucky enough to have have a very good car every year. But uh, but sometimes is whatever, not the right weather, not the right tire. Um, yeah, and you also uh, need a bit of luck. I think in this yeah. race with code sixties and and when you are and when you are there, when you have the speed, well, last year to be honest was too early to say. Yeah. Uh, we were yeah. okay to start with, but I think you guys were very strong. Um, Mercedes was very strong. BMW, I think it, it it would have been very surprising if we we would have won. Uh, but we were there, let's say, and yeah. you have to be there. Um, but yeah, this year we this year we don't share the car, so we'll see how <laughs> it goes. No, I mean, and to be fair, I mean that's. That's the thing I, because being on that car, the Nürburgring is something super special. Um, and yeah, to be fair, I, I messed it up twice in three years or four years. So fair enough that I'm not on the car <laughs> this year, I can kind of understand. But that's what I, yeah, I mean, regret, I regret a lot of things what happened in the Nürburgring, but that's now a bit, you know, you lose your opportunity, maybe I get it again in, in the future. Um, but it's... Yeah, coincidence, a coincidence that it happened twice in that race in that car with you. <laughs> but uh, who knows, maybe in the future. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's just, I mean, I think... Uh, maybe I have magical Pirellis this year and I can beat you all. I wouldn't hope too much on it, but... Um, <laughs> but both time, both time, actually, when you fucked up, you won. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a vent or a race. You owe me something, right? Yeah, <laughs> get you a beer. But well, you don't drink beer, so... <laughs> Nope. Um, no, but again, you said about uh, not having the opportunity. I think it's at the end when you are quick enough, which you are. I mean, then I, I understand maybe they take you off for one year, but then next year it's another year, another chance. So, yeah, I mean, this year anyway, I spoke about it in the last episode, half an hour ago with Reese, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, this thing, Nürburgring, is actually not so easy for us because we're fully committed to LMDH and Le Mans, and the timing is a bit difficult. So, it's not easy for us to to do, do that race um, with the program we have, but w- I mean we will. But um, it's not we're not going to be able to do like the full full focus like we maybe done in the past. And it's a race, we, and it's a tough race. Yeah, it's which a, you need. To. It's not yeah. a one where you you go progressive or you can no. just <laughs> you, you have to push from the start and and be there uh, without crashing, which is not easy. Kevin, you're also. Famous, my phone. <laughs> Before it was you. Um, that's how I always, for me, and, and I would describe it with a lot of, with a, lot, a ton of respect. And, and I think Dries wants to talk about it as well. Is for me, if you ask about Kevin, is Kevin is zero or hundred. If you when you race, uh, when you when you attack, when you uh, when you do a start, when you do a qualifying, I mean. If you're driving, you know you're always. Uh, there's never a doubt that you're not at a hundred percent. Is this a mindset? Is this natural? Is this 
I know. I I mean, I know kind of the answer, but in Greece and everybody's listening, maybe. Yeah, I I I, I respect that. I mean, the way because I mean, to take the risks, I I would probably crash like out of the five times, three times, <laughs> and I think you. The, I mean, hitting wood for you for you, but the, you need never maybe okay Le Mans last year, but other than that, I don't think there are, you can talk about it for 20 minutes what you did wrong on on those things but like for example the start you did when was it 2019 2020 when you started in Nürburgring P what was it you after uh, one lap you were second 14, or no, yeah uh, is this, yeah we won yeah we won is this like um 21 then. like do you do you feel yourself you take i mean because at the end yes you take risk maybe it's a calculated risk for everybody else on a different perspective because everybody else takes the amount of risk they want to take mm. and they can take is it something you think about or is it just natural no i i think it's it's very natural i i don't think about so much you know how it is in your car when in the car there are some risk you can there's a mindset you when you start the race uh, which is different from one race to another for example you know 24 hours pa or or, no, or daytona or sebring you should not take crazy risk because you know with the race how the race goes it always safety car you come back whatever Nürburgring Le Mans that's the race where you have to push all the time to be in, uh, ahead uh, always in the first uh, top five so this is the mindset I have when let's say I start the race and I, and it's nat the rest is natural uh, I think that's my the way I am uh, when I I think when I whatever I play since I'm a kid when I play something I want to be first and I don't really think about I always came back in school you know with broken jeans and everything because I was playing football on the concrete and was jumping and you know yeah. don't care about how the risk and the consequences I can imagine <laughs> <laughs> so uh, and I see it with my son now as well uh, and, uh, and uh, I think that's the way I am and in the car well, you said you you can't speak twenty minutes about about things goes wrong, but because you uh, you are young, I'm a lot older, <laughs> and uh, and and my career has been, um, let's say, people see me like this, taking risk and still winning and everything, the last since I would say 2018, um, because I, I, have, I haven't done many mistakes for the let's say the risk or the the cool stuff I did or whatever, uh, the pass or. But in the past, I in Caracas, for example, or, or in Spa, I crashed once, you know, Nürburgring on the quali, whatever. And uh, but the experience helps you to my my I do it a lot on my on 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 feeling and yeah. instinct. But the experience still sometimes is in the back on your mind and mm. saying, ah, look here, just just back off. off which yes. when I was twenty one or something or less experienced, then I would I would crash. Um, so it's it's both, um, but the instinct for sure. Uh, yeah, you drive with your instinct. If you try to, if you start to think too much, you always you often take the wrong decision and and you you miss on on something. So um, so I think is is mostly instinct, but the experience helps you maybe in the in the back of your mind to back off a little bit or one tenth here and there or, or just not going there where you think it could be mm. wet or whatever. This is also what I respect about Kevin, let's say a lot of things, but almost the most is because you have this instinct of, of fighting and going to the limit. And and even me at Nürburgring, I think it was also last year or the year before, at the start, he's like, fuck, is that, that's a lot of risk. Is that necessary? Or, or But in the end, you always, I mean, knock on wood, you always pull it off and come through mm. and everything's fine. And that's and I think that's one of your 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 big strengths. But... Yeah, especially to start a race and then from lap one to immediately mm -hmm. go on to a limit. I mean, I think we all can do it, but I think you, yeah, the way you can not only search it, but for me, I mean, racing, like without a cast, I think I'm not too bad in reading how it will end up. But I think your it's aggressiveness to be position your car where you want to attack, I think that's something, I mean, which is... I but mean, it's like Kevin said, it's also experience because... Like it's exactly like you say when you're young and maybe your age or a bit younger you just go for everything and you yeah. take the risk and you're always quick but you and then comes a point where you like make mistake 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 and then you like oh calm down and then you you add the experience and then you're actually yeah. better you i see that's it. with everybody it's like 
bit uh, of this. And, and it's also curve. luck, you know, yeah, it, yeah, uh, there's sure. luck. Last year in the Nürburgring, we, uh, I did a mistake, for example, in, in practice. We, uh, so we started last in, in this first group because we, we were not, uh, our lap time in quali was cancelled, or let's say we, we didn't even quali. Okay. And, cool. uh, and I, I had to overtake a lot. This was the, the mindset and, and trying to get up to the front as quickly as possible. And we, I had a contact with, uh, with another Porsche, actually. I was forced and with, with Matteo. Uh, we were three wide in turn one and, and we, we touched uh, because the BMW didn't leave me, me room. And I broke the front bumper, you know. And, uh, and if it's uh, any race, uh, let's say if it's Le Mans, you lose, you lose 20, 30, 40 seconds because you have to change the bumper after you've done everything. In Nürburgring, during the refueling, they yeah. changed the bumper, they repaired. And so, and it was only the bumper, nothing else was broken. So you need a bit of luck as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it, it goes my way and I hope it, it would stay like this. But, uh, but it's definitely not something I calculate and say, ah, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do these crazy moves or whatever. I just no. go with my instinct at that time and, and hope for the best, let's say. I just know when I'm starting first and I know Kevin is starting behind me, I'll just... You always look a bit. Yeah, but that's that's good. <laughs> that's I mean, the strength. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that's the yeah, point. Yeah, no, but that's that's people uh, need to be. That's I mean, what you. No, what people you are also scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe another way. Not maybe. always because it's the same thing. But <laughs> the other driver for me, when, when I'm when I'm in the car and I and I'm not scared, but is Tandy, for example. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. when Tandy is behind you, it's ah, a bulldog. Yeah. You know, he's he's gonna try everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I if I can achieve that in the others, then then it's think is a good thing but um, yeah you have to, to yeah. take care the reputation no, sometimes sure. is going the wrong way that's also i mean i think you guys are maybe a bit similar on that nick and and you but and nick you know he's a bulldog he will never let I never go raced, and like proper with him i mean and also mm. no, i'm in spa a few yeah, we never we never really fight no I, I don't i don't remember really yeah that's the way it is i remember nick 24 hours of spa we were both I think not in the contention to win the ball on the Porsche and he just, I was on, I don't remember, I was on different tires on wets or whatever and I didn't let him buy and he just hit me in the back <laughs> and after I went and he's like, wow, I don't know, you pissed me off and I was in the mood for it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I had the same with Max in uh, NLS1 because we, he's uh, Martin. Martin. Huh? He started behind me and uh, he said, yeah, you know, I'll give you a loft tap somewhere. I, I thought it was a joke, but I just uh, at some time as I break, like, Dunk! I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and this we're not allowed, of course. Mm, normally, no. Especially the factory program. Yeah, but I was doing the same car, two team cars, so. <laughs> You're happy you don't uh, pay the splitter, the damage on the splitter? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually bum drafting another BMW on the on the Dottinger to get by the Audi because otherwise it, it wouldn't have worked. Drish just I said the BMW bad. was very good, but they don't have top speed. Okay. So then we need to be worried, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did the first time I ever drove the car on the Nürburgring, so I cannot tell you any experience, but I, we had no top speed, no. Okay. So. I think you and Drish have one thing in common. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a training mindset. You have my, you have my training. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. It, yeah, it's always the Lawrence. Lawrence not the, does the job. When was that? Yes, uh, two, two days or two, three days ago. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. We spoke about it. And he said, well, for you, it doesn't matter. You don't train. So, um, I definitely train much, 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 much less than you. But that's, uh, that's, that's easy. Not, yeah. Yeah. It's easy. Um, yeah, I... Uh, I, to be honest, it's a bit strange because we are doing endurance racing. Um, endurance is a big part of our life and everything, and I, and I hate endurance training, yeah. let's say. Running for a long time. But I don't hate, but I, I go, and after 3, 4K of running, I'm like, hey, it's not for me. You know, I want to stop. Ah, I, I, uh, <laughs> mentally, also, I don't like it. You know, and, uh, and on the bike, I went... I don't know, three, four years ago, actually, I, I, <laughs> I asked you what should I buy for, for a bike and everything. And I went and, and uh, I got a bit into it for, let's say, a few months. Um, but I, after 40K, 50K, yeah. oh, it's like, it's too, I agree. it's too long. And um, I don't know. 
this is um, so I'm 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 not great at this. I, I know I'm not good, and I don't like it. So it doesn't doesn't really help. I have to force myself a lot to to go running and stuff. But I. Yeah, I, I still do some sport. But uh, at the end of the day, when you, I don't, I, I think you are quite similar on that. You wouldn't say when you get out of a double stint that you would be completely. Uh, it depends. It depends the racetrack, the race, everything, and also the cars. Um, when we started, I remember Spa when we <laughs> did the first time Spa. But we were all. Yeah, I was. I was definitely the Kevin worst. Kevin is famous about his cramps. <laughs> yeah, I, I cramp quite easy. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah. He was sitting on and the chair and like. He, he moved his finger like <laughs> I was I had everywhere abs cramp everywhere I could not move I, uh, it was a uh, but the cars as well got a lot easier to it drive very we had no AC the 99 was 997 or 991 991 yeah, I guess 991 GT3R we were fighting like hell like hell to to mm. be somewhere and we were quite fast but you had to give it all every stint um and yeah it was hot and everything yeah. And so uh, there are some stints where you come out and you are you are tired. But I think also you, you know, training a lot and everything, you can't rep replicate what you have no. in the car no. in, in, in anything. You can try to be get the best out of out of your training. And and for me, it's also an experience thing. I know that I cramp whatever in the um, in the car. For so I I have a coach at home, um, a training a trainer, and I. We made a lot of exercise to try to help me where I'm weak, and uh, and I I improved and I and I'm good enough for what I do, but definitely I'm not a, a sport uh, crazy addict like uh, like you're you more are. a sprinter. I remember every time we go on fitness camp at Porsche, there's something to sprint, sprint to the no quick. Way, Kevin is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I would be quite you similar on that. No, no, both. <laughs> <laughs> no, depends how long the sprint is. <laughs> Ten meters. <laughs> if it's like a twenty meter sprint, I might just be in contention. <laughs> but the MDH cars is more. I mean, yeah, it's, it's more physical. You, uh, I would start to train a little bit if I was if it was you. I train. I train a bit now. Like I'm training my neck decent amount. And yesterday we were in spa. Okay, I sat in the car for the whole afternoon. At the end of the day, it was today yeah, a bit stiff. So no, for sure. Um, yeah, and and also this you get with the experience. Now you yeah. know, you know, the GT we knew exactly where we had to train, exactly. where was it hard, and everything. LMDH we just start to to feel. To be fair, for me in the past I was also training because I thought it was fun and mm -hmm. I wanted to be good on the bike and doing triathlons. It's actually since this winter and this year that I'm really trying to train specific for motorsports, mm -hmm. and I'm actually let's say training. A bit less maybe like i'm less on the bike and i'm more doing gym stuff and and reaction and all of that stuff because like you say you you never can reproduce 100 what's in the car no 100%. and a lot of meditation yeah this is a key factor i think to your strength in the car yeah. is the meditation ah, and so waking up at, i think works. also waking up at seven in the morning is yeah. the second key and today i slept <laughs> until 10 can you imagine Wow, this is a dream. But to, then I'm sweating a dream. now. I'm luckily, <laughs> luckily today you don't have to drive because I don't think you would be competitive no. if you sleep so long. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, One yeah, thing which yeah. is with him crazy. We were in Le Mans and uh, you said uh, before your question about having him as a teammate. We're all in Le Mans, you know, as driver, as as teammates, you always try to do stuff together. And yeah, we. Yeah, we told him, hey, you want to go for a run? No, I take my bike. Okay. <laughs> so we went for a run with Michael and he was on his bike for two hours just before the race, whatever. But yeah, he felt ready. You know, yeah. that's, but that's you. That's the way you yeah, feel. I, I respect I mean, that. But it's, it's for sure one thing which as a teammate can be, not can be difficult, but um, uh, yeah, you have to accept and you have to like doing things together outside of racing is important. And your way of doing it is, is training and, and running or, more more cycle and you have to find uh, the right balance between no i know I, I actually funny enough thought about it i think yesterday i think on the day before that it's true i am like you guys go for a normal dinner i often have my own food with yeah. me because you know i don't support half of it or you you want to sit together and have a drink i like to go to bed early and, and then i'm always like it's absolutely like not that i don't want to do these things but i need to do my things in order to be to calm feel, and, and feel, feel good and but it's they, at also the have built, they have built for this eh, you know 
They have pills. You just take one and you feel completely fine. <laughs> but it's at the sacrifice of being, you know, social in, in the group that, you know, Kevin knows me by now that it's just what I need. Some others might make oh, a joke or might complain look, about it. Yeah, or yeah. Might, might look uh, arrogant or yeah, just yeah. thinking of yourself when you know, when I know, I know yeah. you, I know that you do it for sure for you to be better in the car or to feel good or whatever. Mm -hmm. It is not against other people. No, you absolutely. need to, you need to understand that for sure. But, um, yeah, but the social part is, is important because we spend most of the time sure. of the year together and, and, uh, and you need uh, yeah, confidence and, and to know each other outside of racing, I think, is, Im yeah. is important. Yeah, for example, to play golf. I heard you, yeah. um, Kevin, plays golf as well. I heard you I still suck at playing golf. <laughs> no, I'm actually getting better now. <laughs> well, I saw a video getting... on Instagram yesterday, it didn't really look like... <laughs> Yeah, but this wasn't Sheldon. me. This was yeah. He he, he made a <laughs> he made a video where where he said I think when you want to play golf with Reese or something. But it wasn't literally me because I got two people okay. saying what are you doing and I'm like mate, what are you saying? It's not even me. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm actually getting I'm getting better. I mean, I'm beating Charles now on a regular base, which is I mean, it's not the best. We Max, go in Le Mans. In Le Mans, we yeah, go. we can. Okay. Maxime Mata is is good, he's yeah. proper. He. You know what? We go, you guys go golfing, I'll come with the bike to watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how you do this? <laughs> I don't know. You can go, no, when I carry, hit the ball. He carry, he, you know, he's so, he's so. Yeah, I'll know, go running after the ball. Strong. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> with, my, with the you bag. Carry, he, you know, he's the caddy. <laughs> you're the caddy, <laughs> and you just, as soon as I hit, you run after the ball and you go and search it. That's, that's the problem when you're, well. when you're not great uh, like us. You know, you hit the ball and it goes mostly, for me, it goes more right than straight. Yeah, you know, yeah it always. Fits. So you, you search for the ball. <laughs> Didn't we do golfing last time on fitness camp? Yeah, yeah, but I was there. not there. I was not there. You I was testing there? in uh, VIR. I, think. I didn't do that. At one point, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of like this, or it starts to be okay. And then I hit the next ball, and I was like, no, no, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you I'm actually golfing. hit a ball one, like you, you tried? I was not too bad. I like, two kittens. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this good for my extension. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> good muscle. <laughs> yeah, nah, golfing is. There's no physical challenge for me. No, I, but it's not, the, it's not the point. Mental, for the mental me, it's the mental point. Yeah, is really you get so, I mean, you I know, my mental meditation. thing. Is, yeah. <laughs> but to be honest, you can, no, you cannot really compare, but it's so, I mean, you can relate it to racing in one way, but for example, you, you play two holes and it's going amazing and you feel, oh, you know, you maybe did one par, one bogey. That means, you know, you have to stay as low as possible. And then you just shank the next two holes and you get so frustrated and then it's just a point of trying to keep the thing. It's like going in a race. You, you're you making mistake no. mis after mistake or you, you, you just fucked up. You lost two places and then you just have to stay in the in the right thing. So we had a little camera issue. Yeah, Lawrence forgot to charge Freeze him again. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on it. We can really not keep working in this environment. I mean, we have to yeah, talk about working. Start to do some stuff, we have to would help. talk about... <laughs> Uh, this after the podcast because okay. I'm absolutely not happy with the uh, way we are working now. Um, we have a new uh, driver database percentage winner in the podcast. It's Kevin, actually. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, 22% of uh, victory. To be honest, to Kevin, I accept to and to lose. I mean, I'm 18% like and you're still at 16. Does this count? I my, mean, you're you ramping up. Does this yeah. count my three yes, victories of yes, this year already? Yes, yes. Are you sure? Yeah. You're hundred percent sure. 100%. I don't believe anything yeah, of what you're saying. saying. <laughs> There's also a second ranking. I found it on Twitter. It's the Motorsport Goat ranking. You saw this? No. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they calculate. Look, look how he's looking. Oh, at the I, I, I won or what? <laughs> no, you're last. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the Motor most points. Goat. No, it's position. It's like the oh. whole history of motorsport, and then I don't know how they calculate it. Uh, your what you've achieved, and and then you get a ranking. Um, and trees what a bullshit page is this? Is 588. <laughs> Kevin is 438. Mm. And I don't know why I'm 293. For sure, yeah, you it's... made your own thing. For sure, it must be <laughs> 932. Some weird guy, you know, who is the administrator? Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe you would be ranked a bit higher. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah you make your own uh, so rankings. So, there's two rankings and you're always last. So. Doesn't but matter. I mean, start to drive a bit quicker or win a bit more. Or? For sure, I don't accept that the driver, what is it, DB percentage? Database. No. Um, it doesn't count in my 2023 yet. Well, go have a look. 
Maybe write them a complaint email. I will write them. And also the other one. Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think we lost another camera, Lawrence. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, Time to. So, too much podcasting for the day. Batteries are getting empty. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I think that was uh, enough. Um, thank you for, Thanks, Kevin, for, for joining us. Welcome. It was very Coming interesting. Over. We're going to head back to Spa and then we're going to drive to fitness camp. 700 kilometers because the whole of Germany is striking tomorrow. So, we have to okay. go by car. Hopefully, we make it. It's better than I had to drive from France, actually, Kevin. Uh they strike as well. I had to drive 1,100 kilometers back home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but France, actually, in, in Europe, for me, is the best average you can have. Oh, There's not, not during all the, the people day. on the highway. No, and you can, when I you have a foreigner, a, yeah. no, I should not say this, but when you have a <laughs> license which is not from France, <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you can drive pretty fast with a. Yeah, no, we so actually issue. did a good trip. We had a, we had a good average. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just but strikes annoying. in France is. Also in Germany, I mean, everybody's striking nowadays. I mean, uh, at the end, everybody has their own opinion on life. Everybody who's working in the whatever I'm they work on. But I'm not following at all. I just read an email ah, from Lufthansa that my flight is cancelled. We definitely have a privileged life. This is for yeah. sure when yes. you look at at what <coughs> people um, yeah earn and and what they have to pay and everything. That's that's a part of the thing. But striking is a yeah, it's kind of a culture in France, and it's uh, it's not easy for everyone. No. But oh well. Okay. Well, yeah. thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. Um, subscribe, like, YouTube. You can listen to us on Apple, Spotify, Google, um, and so on. Our next guest, we don't know yet. We're, <laughs> we're both traveling uh, quite a bit now again for the next three to four yeah, weeks. Yeah, next three to four weeks. So, so um, we'll... Uh, Chris is still working on Valentino Rossi. Maybe he can come. Uh, spa, 24-hour spa. Okay. But this, yeah, by that time, I hope we make some more. Otherwise, it would be a bit boring. We'll do the race in Spa in a month, yeah. one month and a half. So maybe get Earl over. Ah, that would be also a good one. So thanks, Kevin. Thank, Thank you, Kevin. You. Enjoy the fitness camp. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> we'll send some uh, make a vlog. <laughs> mm. All right, we lost another camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.